As you probably know, Beth and I usually get out to Whistler Bike Park at least a couple of times per season. But with things being the way that they are in 2020, it was looking like we maybe wouldn't get that chance. That is, until a couple of weeks back when we got the green light to go film in Whistler. So we immediately packed the car and headed off. And this time we're even bringing the kiddos as well, which we're really pumped about. And before we knew it, we had arrived. And so Beth and I were so stoked to show the boys all the Whistler classics, like Crank It Up in the Fitzsimmons Zone and Blue Velvet and Original Sin in the Garbanzo Zone, then over to the Creekside Zone. Like there's just, there's so much there that we showed them right off the bat. And most of those trails you've seen on this channel a few times before. But here's the thing, Whistler Bike Park is enormous. With multiple lifts, four zones, new trails coming online, and old trails that people have never even heard of yet, I kind of wanted to dedicate this video to trails that you may not have seen before. There's a heck of a lot more going on in those woods than just A-Line, Crank It Up, and Schlayer. So let's get into it. Okay, it is early morning and we're at the top of Creekside. You can hear the lift behind me there. And we've got Brad White. He's the actual Whistler Bike Park manager. And he's gonna show me some trails that aren't open yet. They're, they're done-ish. Yes, they're uh, completed, just not, uh, the bottoms aren't finished for uh, public yet. So we're not quite ready to open them up. Yeah, but he's gonna, he's gonna show me around. And we're just gonna hit some trails that, um, uh, some of them are open already, but I've never hit them before. You don't usually hear them talked about or filmed yet. So really stoked to show you some stuff that maybe you haven't seen before at Whistler and you'll have to hit next time you're here. Let's go get it. Perfect bike riding weather. Gotta get warmed up. May as well go into friggin' freight train. Oh, he's moving. It's one of those times I wish smell of vision was a thing. Because morning on the west coast of BC, I tell ya. Woo! Mmm, bugs for breakfast too. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Wow, look at the shirt. Oh man, hey. I'm pumped. <laughs> it is perfect out here. Woo. Ah, okay, cool. Uh-huh. Okay, so is this like, what's what's gonna be the rating on this? Blue. Okay. Yep. And blue uh, flow trail. And then it'll go into the second phase of it. We'll go into a hand built blue single track. Wow. That's perfect. It's so fresh. Oh, oh man. Yeah. Look at that. Not one tire mark. Um, <laughs> I felt pretty dirty going underneath this okay. clothes sign. Yeah, well, there. <laughs> and remember, everybody who's watching, if you do that without the bike park manager with you, it's not a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> One, because it means the trail's not ready. But two, you could run into trees that are down, yeah. all kinds of stuff. Equipment. Not safe. Hey, let's do this. <laughs> What's this one called again? Palm Corners. Palm Corners. Oh my gosh, that's fresh. That's crazy. I've never ridden terrain like this before. Oh, nice. It's a lot tighter than the other Creekside trails I've done. Oh, whoa! <laughs> All of a sudden goes to unfinished trail. Cool. You see that ribbon there? Yeah. Single track through that beautiful, look at, like, look at that. Oh, oh yeah. You go back there. That looks good. But you can imagine, you know, hand-built single track through this. That's going to be amazing. Yeah. Do you want to hike back up? Sure. I mean, it's, yeah, we may as well try it again. Totally. With fresh, soft dirt and zero experience with this trail, we decided to try it again to hopefully get things dialed in a little Bam. bit. <laughs> COVID bump. COVID bump. Oh. Hmm. 
This is so cool. Woo. What's that bike movie where it started raining dirt or snowing dirt? That's this. This is what it's what this is riding like. Wow. It's just fresh powder. <laughs> Actual brown pal. <laughs> Might have to get a little bit more bedded in. Cool. Yeah, that's good. All right, so we just uh, got to the bottom of kind of like the, the access road section. And um, he was just saying that, well, you'll head down and hit a seven pack of jumps, you were saying? Yeah, about a seven pack of uh, varied shapes and sizes of jumps. Yeah, and then out to Elixir, which is over on Creekside. That sounds pretty amazing. And I'll say it again, this trail's not open yet. Don't ride it until they're done. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> so a lot of this stuff is going to be brand new to me. Might be a little Bambi on ice through this, but it's mountain biking. It'll be a good time. Oh, you always go so fast through that one section. Oh, yeah. It's almost like he knows this park or something. Whoa! <laughs> I haven't done that line. What's this? Are we in dropping clinic? It must be. Oh yeah. <laughs> Definitely in dropping clinic. Woo! First bigger jumps of the trip. Yeah. Off the bridge. Oh, I love this part of freight train. Very floaty. <laughs> Some of your lines, man. Oh. I'm like, ah, oh, where's he going? <laughs> so here we have a bunch of trails maybe not a lot of people ride. We got Mackenzie River mixed so, in with a rebuilt side track here. A bit of pedal and lifting. Okay. Side track. First time down this as well. Sick. So we call this a softer A-line. Maybe it's just like a, a good whoa, in between uh, before you go and hit freight train, maybe. Whoa, yeah. A little deep on that last one. Oh, sick. Oh man, that's awesome. Very cool. So I didn't hit everything on that first run through sidetrack, but later that day I took my son Casey down it and we took the time to nail all the features start to finish. So that was a blast. Also, how was my kid sending things so hard already? What the heck? All right, more duff, single black. Oh, I think I need different gear now. <laughs> Not a uh, jump trail gear. Wow, so fresh. Incredible. Woo. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, Loamy. Little drop on some wood. Oh. Holy smokes, that's awesome. Like, this is Whistler Bike Park here. Okay, drop. Roll, sick. <laughs> wow, 
Like this isn't high speed or anything, but it's just such a freaking pleasure. Woo! Oh yeah, lots of those little roots. So good. We're gonna go from Golden Triangle into, sounds funny, but it's mine and a lot of people's, you know, sort of favorite trails here at Whistler. It's called Del Boca Vista. And it's another green, but it's typically what I'd hit after hitting uh, Dirt Merchant. At least old Dirt Merchant, anyways. Might be a little different now, but. Into Del Boca Vista. A green trail, folks. So fun. Whew. Yeah. Yeah. I think it keeps going. It does. Oh, a little dusty in here. Whew. Whew. Just keeps going. So good. Nice. Fun every time. Hey, it's off. Every time. Okay. On to a little known trail called A-Line. Oh, I don't have the speed. <laughs> we'll give it a try. Just barely. Some A-Line tech. First time through the trip, actually. Woo. What? Where are you going? <laughs> that was crazy. I have never seen that before. All right, this is my favorite jump. Woo. Yeah. Oh no, I lost speed. He's going for the case. <laughs> it's that one corner, it's pretty tricky. Or it's kind of that jump over the bridge you gotta get right. That's fresh. Yeah, man, that was great. <laughs> oh man, those trails were incredible. I know for me, I'd only ridden a couple of those before, and I mean, there's so many hidden gems out there that you just don't normally see from Whistler. So next time you're out there, make sure you check those out. And uh, did you happen to notice at the beginning of the video that it said sponsored by Whistler Bike Park? Bit of a dream come true there. So thanks for everybody for watching and subscribing, making these kind of things possible. And speaking of which, another couple weeks from now, we've got another video coming out from Whistler that covers a topic that people have been asking us to make for literally years. So make sure you stick around for that. And uh, yeah, we'll see you for next week's video. Cheers, everybody.